Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can add coin collection into your game. This is a variation of part of a video I did before for coin collection. In this example, we're going to pick up a coin, bring it to a cell pad, and then it teleports that coin to a random part in the game. So the way it's set up now, you can continue to collect coins, and other players can do the same. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in and get started. Okay, so to set this up, we're going to be adding a few things to the game. The first thing, the coin is actually a tool with a part inside of it called handle. And you can shape this however you want to. I just took a cylinder and then shrunk it down into the shape of a coin. And next, you're going to make a cell pad, which is basically just a part that a player touches to sell the coin. Under the cell pad, go ahead and add a script. And then you also need to add another script under server script service. And we're going to take a look at this one first. So this is a script that sets up leaderboards for the game. Whenever a player joins, it adds a new folder to that player. And what you're doing down here is defining whatever name you want for your currency. So in my case, I called it coins. If you want to call it something else, then you can just update the names here and here. Next, let's go and take a look at the script under the cell pad. Okay, so what I'm doing inside this function is I'm first getting the name of the player that touched the pad. After that, I'm using the player's name to find the player model located in the workspace. Next, I'm looking under that player model to see if they have the tool equipped. And then if they do have the tool equipped, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the tool back to the workspace and then set it to a new position and that new position is a random number between negative 50 and 50 for the X position and also between negative 50 and 50 for the Z position. The reason I chose the X and Z position to change is because the X and Z control the forward, backwards, left, and right movement and the Y position controls the up and down. So I didn't want to change the up and down position of it but just where it's located on the game. And after teleports to new position, then I'm giving the player a point. If you want to give the player more than one point, or maybe a random number of points, then you can adjust that value by changing the one right here. And the last part down here is just linking the part touch event to the function called collect. Okay, and that's all there really is for the script. If you're trying to determine what your bound should be right here, what you can do is you can click on the coin, look under its properties and find its position and then move it back and forth and watch how the numbers change. So if I want my coin to go between this position right here, which is negative 25, and this position here, which is 28, then that's what I would put for my bounce here. I would put negative 25 and 28. And then moving in the other direction, right now it's at negative 10, and if I want it to go between negative 10 and this number up here, that would be negative 87, and I can put that for my Z position. Okay, this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.